Now let's return to the Gary McKay Museum in Tacoma, Washington. A 49 Chevrolet. How did that happen? What's that doing in here? <laughs> well, I kind of wanted a GM piece and a Mopar piece uh, to round out the whole 60 muscle deal where Ford and Chrysler and Chevrolet were competing it. And uh, so I was looking uh, for a 62 409. They're really hard to come by. There's, there's quite a few fakes out there. There's a lot more of them out there today than were ever made by Chevrolet. But I stumbled onto this one actually uh, down at Chaz Martin's show. This fellow brought it in with a race car. He's kind of known in the area as kind of the 62 Mr. 409. And I'd heard that he had this car. It was a flawless, uh, it, it won the Chevrolet Nationals twice. And, but I heard that he would never sell a car. And when I got into a conversation talking about the cars and things, and he informed me that he was selling everything here and kind of retiring and moving down to Arizona and said this car could become available after the Chevrolet uh, convention. And so him and I got together and I looked the car over thoroughly and, and we put a deal together. And what makes this car stand out, separate it from the rest of the 409s, this is really extremely rare. It's got the, uh, the uh, Z11. 409 motor in it, which in 62 there was just a just a few of those motors built and they were all dealer installed. You couldn't get a Z11 from the factory in 62 and in 63 you could get you could order the Z11 race car. But uh, this motor stamped to the car and uh, it's a it's just a drop-dead piece. I really lucked out when I found it. 